Capricorn singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela and this reading is for my Capricorn singles. This is your reading, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading for the month of May, May 22nd through May 29th. And that's for my Capricorn singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, Capricorn, keep this in mind that this is just a general reading. And of course, because it's general, this energy can go vice versa. So I invite you to take a look at the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it. If you're not sure how to check out the the check out what your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs are, if you don't know what your needle chart is, there are different links below that will take you to have your natal chart calculated for you. So again, this is for my cappies. Cappy single, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, looks like happiness is coming. Maybe in the springtime. Or spring could be a very significant time for you. Not a birthday month. Oh, well, not all of your Capricorn suns. You have gone through a lot in your love relationship, probably a lot in love in general you've gone through. Um, but I'm seeing that that happiness is coming after a period of time where you were feeling like things weren't just not going anywhere. Because I'm seeing road to nowhere. So I feel like you haven't gotten to where you would like to be as it pertains to love. I'm seeing Lady Winter and Lady Spring. So the winter and springtime could play significant roles in your life. Winter, maybe that is a birthday month for you. Maybe something significant happens to you around your birthday. Maybe you are dealing with a sign that was born in the springtime. That would be Maybe a March Pisces, a Taurus, or an Aries, even Gemini. May Gemini. No, even early June. Okay, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, maybe a female fire sign. Or maybe this is in your chart, Cappy. Maybe you have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yep, here we go. Emotion versus intellect. You're making head over heart decisions by using your intuition, possibly with an earth sign, such as yourself, or maybe this is your energy, Cappy. Union. So that makes sense. You have love coming in. Because I'm seeing bliss. Okay, something changes for you this week or in the coming weeks because not everything plays out at the same time for everyone it's just general justice some of you are dealing either with the justice system or you're dealing with a libra there could be someone sun moon rising or libra sun moon rising or venus sign in the sign of libra that could be significant to you See, Libra is September. Okay, so no. September, October. Yeah, Libra. Late September, early October. Um, hmm. So I'm going to do a spread for you, Cappies, and then I'm going to do a spread. I'm going to do a, a cross watcher spread. So the cross watchers, you can know what your love is feeling, what they want, what they expect from you what it could possibly take to win this person back if they're willing to because everything is about free will okay so free will can always influence anything in a reading okay so i'm seeing a lot of cups here some of you could be dealing with a water sign a pisces cancer or scorpio um it looks like you've been through a situation where there's it's been just emotionally draining um, you could have been dealing with someone who is vain, arrogant, someone who is only out for themselves. 
someone who is not giving any in giving any initiative in this situation strong fire energy leo sag aries kind of lost confidence in this relationship you haven't talked to this person in quite a while this person decided to leave the relationship and you question whether or not this person really loves you i'm also seeing scorpio specifically with the death card okay so you moved on okay but i feel like someone's wanting to work on it with you you're still carrying around some baggage even though you claim that you're moving forward, you claim that you're moving on, you're still looking behind you. Do you see that? She is looking behind her at that pentacle. So if you have your eye on an earth sign. Or someone has their eye on you. Capricorn. Mm, Ace of Cups. This person that has an eye on you that you've dealt with in the past, they want a new beginning. They want a new start with you. But what tore you guys apart is that there was no forward movement. One of you feels like this relationship just wasn't going anywhere. There was no real forward movement, forward momentum. So someone, like I said, they lost confidence. And it looks like the two of you just didn't quite see eye to eye. The two of you fell out. You're at odds with one another. And no one's expressing any type of real feelings. Hmm. But someone's trying to get you out of the head. Wow. Okay. Well, reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life. Well, well. There was deception in the relationship. But as I was stating to you earlier, someone wants to come in and bring this relationship to the next level. This could be someone from a distance from you. Maybe you're traveling going on vacation or maybe this honeymoon card could be indicative of the fact that maybe the two of you might be spending some time i feel like someone feels like you didn't recognize their worth you took their kindness for weakness this person is unhappy without you now as far as work is concerned i'm seeing that some of you are moving on your intuition is chiming in with the high priestess Okay, it's chiming in and it's telling you, you know what, <laughs> this job that you're at is the road to nowhere. It's not bringing you the, the, the very thing that you want. The pay is something that you're very dissatisfied with. Mm. But yet, maybe you're lacking the motivation. You're, you're feeling very uninspired. Okay, there could even be some drama at your job. You've been worried about this situation. You've been really mulling it over in your head, trying to figure out what it is that you want. You've been through a lot in your life and you're ready to move forward. So some of you are definitely leaving that work situation. Mm, some of you may be trying to purchase a car and maybe you're needing a loan or some type of money. Someone may have a shopping addiction. But I really feel like this speaks to baggage that you're still holding on to. <sighs> okay, so what's going to happen here? Okay, so communication between you and this person is distant or blocked. There's no communication, but it's, it's, it's more than the fact that there's no communication. It's like someone cut you off. They blocked you on Facebook. They blocked your phone calls. Um, somebody's coming toward you, though. Someone from the past. Now, as far as work is concerned, you're moving on. And I feel like some of you may not have another job lined up. But I feel like another partnership is coming in. I'm seeing two of cups. Maybe some type of new contract is coming in. Definitely regarding love. <laughs> Got the ace of cups, the two of cups, and judgment. Somebody's coming in. Someone's thinking about expansion. They want to move forward with you. Okay. So this person was unfaithful to you. Okay. And someone's deciding to take a leap of faith 
to see where their luck lands in. They want this union. Okay, and this, can you see that? They want this union and they've been waiting for you. For some cases, this person has learned their lesson and they want to come back for forgiveness. Hmm. I don't know how you feel about them though. Both, neither one of you feel like your partner, like your ex loves you still. You still find yourself thinking about this person. Some of you are dealing with a Leo, the angel of strength. You're trying to gather the courage to drop this burden. Okay, because this did show up in the reverse. And the burden is having this person constantly on your mind. You're always thinking about this person. They're always in the back of your mind. Yep, and you want this caring connection. You feel drawn to this person because of this soulmate energy. Okay, but patience. And I feel like that's what you've had while waiting for this person again after having walked away. Some of you, from a, with a work situation, you're definitely walking away. You're fed up. You've had enough of this. Some of you may do this abruptly. With no other job opportunity in sight. Yep. Because I'm seeing a break. I'm seeing also that someone asked for a break, asked for some time off in this relationship. They broke up with you. There could have been a pregnancy involved because of a third party. I'm seeing the Empress here. Um, otherwise, if that's not the case, I'm seeing that you're feeling radiant. You're feeling abundant. You're feeling beautiful. Um, you're feeling handsome. This new beginning brings you abundance with the Empress. For some of you, seeing, it's talking about worth waiting for, right? Divine timing is at hand in your love life. If that is the case, Spirit is saying have faith in the process. Some of you could be resisting change. Maybe for some of you, you felt like your ex would never change. And so that's what uh, that was one of the thing that sealed the sealed the glue on the envelope. And you decided to let this go. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Okay. You're having faith in the process. So this requires you to just allow things to play out. It says relax the hold of darkness. Darkness is the unseen, where things are manifested, where things come into fruition, because I'm seeing spirals of manifestation. You've put your intention out there. So this requires you right here to be patient, to be patient with the process, be at peace in the darkness be at peace in the unseen i hope i'm making this very clear but i'm not sure that i am what i am trying to say is when you put your intention out there you don't always see things unfold right before your eyes there's a waiting period an incubation period a gestation period right just like when a woman is pregnant you know a baby is coming, but you don't see the baby developing because the baby is in darkness. Otherwise, I hope I'm not sounding so weird here. In other words, Spirit is saying, have faith in the process. Even though you don't see the manifestation, just know that it is spiraling. It's coming into effect. You've been diving for light. I feel like you want to see the truth. And then heaven sent something comes in to reveal itself to you with the tower card, realizations and epiphanies. You walked away from this person in the past. Walking away from this person helps you realize just how much you really did care. 
that's this realization. That's when this tower moment it hits you like a ton of bricks. For some of you, this could be vice versa. Some of you are deciding to be to go into business for yourself. It says you want to be the hunter, not the hunted. You got the owl here, listening to your intuition, following your hunches, following your instinct, and you're leaving because you know something is better. Something better is around the corner. You're making decisions about your future. Let's go ahead and do the spread for your love interest. Let's see how they're feeling. This is your energy, Cappy. Let's see how their energy is. What are they feeling? What do they want out of this? Are their intentions real? And I feel that they are. For those of you who this resonates with, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. We have the Sun card. Okay, so this person is unhappy without you. They definitely miss you. I feel like there could be some pride issues, though. Uh, they're not taking any initiative. I feel like the passion burned out between the two of you. And someone, your partner decided to ask for space, or you decided to ask for space. Whomever it was, there was a separation. Excuse me, one quick second. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, for some of you that are waiting. Some of you cross-watchers could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I'm seeing Sag for some of you cross-watchers as well. Mm, okay, so yeah, there was some type of deception. I feel like there was infidelity in your relationship. Or you found out that your partner was lying to you about a third party. Of course, this led to heartbreak. And they don't really feel, they question whether or not there's really a chance for reconciliation. Because you cut them off. You don't talk to them anymore. This person really wants to resolve things with you. They really do. Not only did this hit you like a ton of bricks, it hit them like a ton of bricks. With this tower card. It hit really hard. Separating from you. Spending this time apart. It's been a while. Mm, this person really does love you. There really is love here. Mm. They know that they hurt you and they deceived you with the double card. Some of you could be, this could be your energy, Kathy. So what do they want? What does the love interest want here? <laughs> Do some research. It says you need more information about this situation. Look into it before proceeding. Okay, so they want to do some research on you. First of all, they want to find out if you're single. <laughs> Are you even available? Are you even on their mind? Maybe you have mutual friends with this person. Maybe at a social gathering, someone is able to get some information about you. Maybe they're asking their friends about you. But I feel, Capricorn, that you want this re reunion. Winter. Yep, that's your birthday. Winter. You got to hear twice. Winter. Maybe something significant happens here around your birthday, or maybe someone is just really cold, distant. They want to travel to you. That Whitney Houston song just popped into my head, uh, I Want to Run to You. That's what I feel that they want to do, actually. Yeah. Yeah, birthday. Birthday. Something significant could happen here on a birthday. It could be your birthday month. All right. Sorry about that. I needed to write that down before I forgot. All right. They want to enter a new season with you. They want to say goodbye to the old and they want to say hello to the new. 
whether this as a reference to their personality, they're, they're, they want you to say goodbye to the old them, they want you to say hello to the new them, or this, is, this could just speak to your situation. Um, some of you may have a daughter with this person, and I'm seeing autumn. So I feel like with all of these seasons here, it's just a change of season. Okay, in the relationship, someone has changed. Debt paid off. Someone wants to pay off this debt, whether it is literal debt or an emotional debt that they have to you. They feel like they owe you. Yep, because of the Seven of Swords. They want to make it up to you, in other words. Yeah, you have someone returning. Things crumbled between you and this person, but they want this Three of Cups. They want a reunion. But there was also a third party, which is kind of why you're still holding on to baggage, Capricorn. Okay, well, they have the tower in reverse. They realize that they made a wreck of the relationship. But still, they're not willing to take a leap of faith into this or they feel that you're not because of the way that they left the relationship. Okay, so there could be some type of a message that they try to send you. Not sure. That might be why they're traveling to you because communication is blocked in this situation. Mm, financial matters could be holding them up from traveling. And that might be why there are these different months there. There could be a delay. Maybe this person was supposed to travel to you in springtime and the time just continues to pass by. It could be because of finances. Yeah, see that? Your intuition, Capricorn, is telling you that this person wants to come in and mend it with you. They want to mend fences with you. Yep, milk and honey though. They are dealing with finances, but something comes in. There's some type of fin unexpected financial gain that could come in. Oh, you're going to find out the truth. Someone wants to be honest with you. And the honesty is in the fact that they love you and they still feel connected. They want to co-create with you. They want to build a legacy with you. Poised. So everything is being put into place. Where you're met or the two of you meet up at the right place at the right time. In order for this person to clean it up. For other of you, uh, others of you, this poised could speak to their personality. Maybe they have changed. They've grown up. They've gotten their stuff together. Okay, so let's take a look. Yep, leaving and seeking and finding. Some of you are definitely leaving behind a job. And you're going to seek... And find another job. Something that is more congruent with who you are. Right? You're going into self-employment. Like I said, you want to be the hunter, not the hunted. You want to go after what it is that you want. You don't want to clock in um, and work for someone else. Some of you could be going into health care. Or this could speak to paying attention to your health. Because I feel like some of you could be overworked. Okay, you're just trying to find the motivation, maybe the motivation to, to leave the job or motivation to start your own business or the motivation to pick up this relationship again, to pick up where you left off. Spirit is saying keep the faith, especially as it pertains to a work situation. You're going into business for yourself. For some of you, this union takes place within, where you come to terms. Okay, what I mean by union is there's one side of you that's conflicted, one side of you that's all for it. One side of you is conflicted because you're worried, paranoid about, about things. So this union 
so to speak, comes together in your mind where you're able to alleviate all of those negative thoughts and you're able to finally follow your intuition. And both of your limbs begin to march together. I don't know. This is just how my mind works. And what I mean by that is one of your limbs wants to go this way. One of them wants to go that way. Okay. The two of, two of you unify and you go in one direction together. If that makes sense. I don't know why my brain works this way. I hope that you're still following what I mean. And that I don't sound completely far-fetched or weird. Okay. Family changes. For some of you, you have a family with this person. Your family dynamic changes because the two of you come together into this union. Realizations and epiphanies. So what I stated here with the tower card. Okay, this person realized that they needed you. Not that they needed you, but that they wanted you in their life. They didn't realize it before, but I, like I said, when they did finally realize it, it hit them like a ton of bricks. Support. For some of you, as far as love, this person comes into your life to play a supportive position. Others of you, as it pertains to work, you're thinking about finances. How am I going to support myself is what you're thinking. I don't have enough savings to support my dreams, to support my aspirations. But if you follow your dream, for those of you whom this message is truly intended for, a windfall comes in for you. And it feels more like a hobby than a career, than a mundane, everyday type of thing for you. six minutes okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out okay leadership some of you are taking on a leadership position you're taking this situation by the reins with this chariot card you're moving forward you're getting out of your own way and what I mean by getting out of your own way is that you're not Allowing your thoughts to defeat you and keep you stuck in a situation where you're very unhappy as far as your work is concerned. Could have been past tense with the relationship as well, which is the reason why you left. But some of you, your, in, your intuition is saying, hey, it's time to leave. But it's like your intuition, here you go, your intuition versus your worries. That's what I meant by getting things in union. You got two things Polar opposites fighting against each other, but you're able to alleviate those thoughts so that you can move forward. Spirit is saying, talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Talk to your angels. So I'm saying that you're going to be able to alleviate this worry, these worries by moving forward, by listening to your intuition. Someone wants to come in and heal this relationship and rebuild it. Light and love. It says your purpose is to bring divine, divine healing light to this world. Some of you may become energy healers. Or some of you, for some of you, your partner is wanting to come back and heal this energy, negative energy negative health of this relationship, right? The health of this relationship was ailing. They want to heal it. Let go. Spirit says, let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. This is what you walked away from as far as love is concerned, but others of you are walking away. You're letting go of this job situation, even though your head says, don't do it. But... Your intuition is saying, think of your health. Because I'm seeing that some of you are just stressed beyond measure. Okay, you're overworked. You're stressed out. Okay, so for Capricorn, let's go ahead and conclude the reading here. Capricorn, Heaven's Door. So you have a lot of doors opening for you, but it requires you to take 
um, initiative. It requires you to take a leap of faith. And I'm seeing comfort. So Spirit is saying, instead of worrying, ask for guidance. God said he would never leave you nor forsake you. He'll comfort you in these times of worry. All right? So that you can move forward. How long are you going to continue on this road to nowhere? You already know where it's going. Follow your intuition. Because it pays off for you in the end. Can you see that focus, 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 camera focus? Pays off for you in the end. But it requires you to let go. All right. Let's close it with a word of advice here. Okay, I'll pull these. All right, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have? Okay, cut the deck here. It says, this is what they're telling me to go with. Obstacles and blocks are lifted is the advice. All your good personal, I'm sorry, and positive energy. All of your good personal work and positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered with gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Whatever was blocking you, even if it was you blocking you, by all of these negative thoughts, you're able to resolve it. So, did I say that? Yeah, you're able to resolve it. Because I'm seeing, oh, block out distractions. And it says, your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. These distractions... Like I said, I feel like this is, I don't mean to continue to repeat myself, but this is what I see here as a distraction. Your mind. <sighs> That's why this healing energy is here. You got to let go of these vows of poverty. These things that we say it to ourselves, but we don't realize that we're really making vows to ourselves. That's why this energy healing is here, because it's time to get grounded and get centered to get out of your head. This is coming to you from an Aquarius. Aquarius is known to be constantly in their mind, in their head. And if I can tell you this, I'm an Aquarius, double Aquarius. I'm Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Venus, Gemini rising. All of these signs, have, where the kids are moon, all of these signs have the potential, like are stereotypically worry warts. But if I can give you this information and tell you get out of your head, you're capable of doing it. All right, Capricorn. So this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. So as some of you already know, my father, he passed away. He passed away last month. He lost his battle with colon cancer. And so there is a GoFundMe campaign that is going on that will fund his funeral. I do come from a small family. It's just it was just me, my mom, and my dad. So yeah, we're trying to lay my dad to rest. So if anyone is interested in making a donation, you can go directly below this video in the description box. There is a link to the GoFundMe campaign, and you can also find it on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And if anyone is interested in booking a personal reading, those are also available, including 
a new thing that I offer on my website now, which is live readings. So if anyone is interested in getting a live telephone reading rather than a pre-recorded reading, but I still do do the pre-recorded readings, you can book those on my website as well. And nothing has changed with Instant Go. If you are interested in contacting me on Instant Go, I am available there by text only. And I may be extending myself um, beyond the text only option on Instant Go in the future. I'll keep you posted. All right, everyone, thank you again for all of your condolences, all of your well wishes, and your donations. Thank you. Uh, Gosh, you guys have been awesome and overwhelmingly positive, and it is so appreciated. So take care, everyone. I will see you next week. I love you all. Peace. Bye for now.